This is Coogan Cassius Rifle TV in association with Mackenzie and Mubbo. We're at the Madison Square Garden here ahead of Golovkin and Mew fighting on that bill. Torino Johnson against Eamon O'Kane in an IBF final eliminator. How are you, Mr. Johnson? I can't complain. Got to give the almighty God all the thanks and praise. Um, listen to you talk up there. Uh, it, it seems like you've got your one eye firmly fixed on Golovkin and Lemieux, the winner of that, uh, head of a cane. Is that fair to say that? Well, it's not in my head. No, I'm not like a horse where you have the bridle on the mouth and have the eyes focused in one direction. I got to deal with what's in front of me right now, and that's Iman O'Kane, but not overlooking him, of course. You know, I've been challenging the likes of David Lemieux and Triple G for quite a while. And uh, yeah, those are fights that I feel as though I, I am qualified and able to not just participate, but to win. How much of Aim and O'Kane have you seen? Um, footage wise well I don't know how much footage of him is online the way that I look up my opponent very little of it but you know as it, as it stands you know in my career I'm really trying to critique myself more or less than you know when I lose a fight I lose it on my turn end not my opponent because my opponent is never better than me so what I'm doing I'm just more critiquing myself rather than looking at my opponent they're saying that the winner of this fight will go on to fight it's the winner of Canelo Cotto, which puts the winner of your fight in a bit of a situation where you may have to wait. I have been in the running for waiting for quite a while, and I'm very disgruntled about it. But hey, once I put on a show against Imano King come Saturday, there will be no questions that will be unanswered. They will see for sure that Toriano Johnson is well and able and capable, not just to challenge these opponents, such as Triple G or David Lemieux, but to beat them. And of course, the fans want to see a good fight. Definitely, they want to put me in the ring with either of those guys. What's the best outcome for you, uh, winner-wise, from Golovkin and Lemieux? To prove that I am the most exciting boxer out there, which is my ultimate goal. And yes, of course, the bull's eyes right now on David Lemieux and Triple G. That's the target. They are the best, and I want to beat the best. And I think it's only about time that the days of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, and all of the great fighters, the best, ought to fight the best once again. You said in the press conference about the talk of Lemieux and Golovkin's power, uh, but people have got to take note of your power as well, which is what you were saying in the press conference. Well, you know, I wouldn't limit or doubt my power, but my power comes in a way of the real Mexican style, you know, the one that they claim that Triple G has. I have that kind of power that, you know, you can take a punch and you can also give another one. So, yes, uh, my power, yes, it cannot go unnoticed, but I do have a little bit of power, and I just may end up showing you all that come Saturday. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank no, you very God much. Bless you.